What's going on, friends? It's Friday night. That means Vape Stew Live, and we are here. And Stan has a less quality microphone for you because Robo Stan is over it. Ah! Every damn week I scream in my own ear. Anyways, we are here. We are here with our favorite Demo Vapes. Boy! One dollar. Ah, One dollar already Ready? in the jar. Nick from Daily Vape TV. Say what's where's, up? Where's my dollar? Oh, I, I, I really should just grab a dollar like every time and just be like, hold it in front of the camera. Put a jar <laughs> on the shelf right behind you. I love the memes. You guys, I love the memes. I love the camaraderie. Yes, the memes are great. Amazing. And the cool in our cucumber, Joel, Mr. Just Right One. What's up, folks? Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for having me back. I didn't figure y'all would invite me back again. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't ever want to. You just keep finding a link. <laughs> <laughs> We're not ex exactly sure how this happens, but, you know, it seems to. Nine ninety nine a minute, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Russian servers. Russian servers, that's right. <laughs> yes. Hey, servers. Joel's about to take off that DHL jacket, but we got to make sure we're connected to the Russian server first. Um, Pie Crust. All right, let's say what's up to the people in chat. What is going on, people in chat? Ryan Hershey, you need to shut your mouth. Um, Cardmonts, all kinds of funny stuff coming out of his face. Mr. Panda, James Franklin, what's going on? Brandon Boats says, what's up, Nick? Hi. Uh, UK Andy. Is in the house, Mr. Chris Hall, J Blind, Caleb Pavlinch. Which he, he, man, I love you guys. You guys are here every week. Full savage, full savage. Um, who else is in here? Dave Satek. I want to say a big hearty <laughs> thank you to Mr. Dave Satek, Satek, for being uh, uh for being one of my patrons. I now have four, I believe, and there's two more I need to get on there and say thank you to. I'll look in a few minutes. Don't don't worry, I don't I'm not forgetting you. Uh oh, our church is in the house. Kimmy Vapes. Hey, Kimmy, what's going on? Jay Blind. Dan Mansfield. I think he's one too. I'm gonna have to check it. No safe words allowed, says Dan. <laughs> um, Paige, Maffy. All right, guys. So what's going on? Um very cool that you guys are all here to hang out with us. And let's start off with a little bit. We've got a special guest coming in, by the way, in just a little bit. Um, you may or may not know. So let's start off with Demo and get a little buffet action going on. Tell us what you're vaping and what you're drinking, Demo. <laughs> all righty. Well, let's see here. Tonight I am vaping. You want to present me, Stan? No, we don't. Oh. Hmm. Bummer. <laughs> uh, tonight I am vaping the new Defiant Designs DS. Got my uh, my reload up top with a with a purple squonk bottle, and uh, this this inside I've got the 357 from uh, Squid Industries shots. That is my favorite juice from their line. Um, over here I've got an original recoil with on top of a anarchist hexome, and inside of that I have 50 cal, which is the brandy infused old fashioned. Um, let's see here. I also just built the Bravo RTA for the very first time, and I've got this thing swallowed a whole set of my interlocking Fralians, and it's banging so far. <laughs> my first, <laughs> my uh, first uh, first few few puffs, pretty pretty great. That also has three fifty seven in it from Squid Industries, and then I've got a bunch of pod systems here. I've got a bunch of stuff, um, Kato Stealth. The Soren Drop and the Soren Eye Share. I picked up one of these guys, the the ones with the the dual pods in them. This is pretty sweet because if you are say friend, let's just give an example. If you're friends with a smoker, for example, and you go outside, you pull one out for yourself, and you can say, "Hey, you want to try vaping?" And then uh, how'd that go again? Uh, you got it the first time. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's oh, and of course. The big, huge uh, Vaporized Nomads Boss 3000 XL V3 Daily Vape TV sticker on the back with a Twisted Messes TM24 Pro up top. And this stuff, I'm rocking 9mm, which is the Watermelon Cosmohito. Very throaty. Incredibly throaty. 
Um, Cosmo Mojito. Almost, almost unvapable. That's how dirty it is. So, uh, but it's very delicious. So that is all I've got. And for the drink, I am drinking a good old Diet Mountain Dew tonight. What? Does it, does it taste like regular Mountain Dew? No. <laughs> What the no. fuck is that? Mountain Dew. Oh, but of course, I also have my trusty tequila down here. Okay. Uh, that's uh, much better. He was trying to see Try to get slick on it. with us. <laughs> trusty old tequila. Trusty old tequila. I don't trust shit about tequila. <laughs> Hometown hero. Hey, hold on. Let me put this guy in timeout because I went on a live show to watch to watch uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes. Okay. I went to watch Sherlock Holmes live show, and what happens? I say, "Hey, hello, yo, yo, yo," and guess what? Put in time out. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> let the war begin. I <laughs> we already have a dislike. I already know where that came uh, from. <laughs> but I like Sherlock Holmes. He's the friendliest hater ever. I like him too. That's why I don't understand. He's such a jerk to me. Here's the problem, Sherlock: <laughs> is that there is one of you, and there are four of us, which means that if you dislike our videos. We can all come and just... No, nah, fuck that. Run. Don't listen to or. Demo. Do not start a dislike war. That shit gets ugly really fucking fast. When he got 20,000 subscribers, no. I want to have 20,000 yeah. dislikes on my videos. No, I know, I know, I know. Don't do that. This is my channel. I would appreciate it if we didn't antagonize anybody. Okay. Nah, he's good people in my book. Yeah. I feel you. He says bring it. <laughs> no. It's no. not brought. It's not brought. It's you're not on the yard. You have a good time, man. You're good, man. I promise. You're good in my book. Right. Hey, wait. I don't have anything white to wave. I was going to wave a white flag. <laughs> Here. I got some white shorts on. We'll wave okay. some white. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. And that's it for Vape Stew Live. Thank Join us next week on Friday at 9 p.m. <laughs> Hashtag after show. <laughs> yeah. We were just up. Nick, tell us about what you're vaping on, what you got to drink. Um, well, are you gonna present me? No. Jeez, no. <laughs> don't you guys know this? You're the it's host. It's called being a host. I so. don't I hey. <laughs> All right. Well, one, the RX2 21700 with the Cali on top. This beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery called the Cali RDA. That's from QP Designs. Uh, and I'm doing the Cali Cali setup. Yeah, Cali Vapors, Devil's Punch Bowl in there. It's a peach guava pear. It's delicious. Next setup I've got, uh, I just threw it on the charger real quick, but it's mostly charged. Uh, it's the iJoy Diamond PD270 with the TM24 Pro double helix designs, color changing. I think this is the nub tip for, uh, it's a, just the 810 that she makes. Yeah, it's the nub tip. Color changing, which is amazing. You'll see it change from purple to blue when I start vaping on that. In there, I have some Mamasan e-liquid. I'm coming to the end of my 100 mil, and uh, this is guava pop, peach guava deliciousness, my favorite flavor profiles. And uh, the last full setup I've got, well, I, I do have my mouth lung in my bag, but probably not gonna vape on that tonight. Mostly this right here, this is the Watofo Nudge Box with the Nudge 22 millimeter RDA on top. Much better than the 24 in my personal opinion, but we'll get to that in the full review. Half Moon Mods tip on there, and in the RDA, we've got some of this stuff. Oh my god, I absolutely fell in love after last week's episode. <laughs> uh, Vaptasia Killer Custard Lemon. I never thought I'd be into, into a lemon custard, but that shit is banging! Um, pod Systems... Whoa, I was using uh, the this guy, the Stig today and really st still enjoying it honestly i mean i i haven't used it a lot but i must say still going strong still liking it i have a thing to talk about after you're done with that oh, okay uh oh and uh you know i have a whole bunch of other pod systems kicking around but probably mostly going to be using my mods tonight to be honest and i'm drinking orange juice because vitamin c <laughs> no there's no alcohol in the house right now Whatever. <laughs> I need to be sober for tomorrow's vlog, all right? I need to be professional and not have a complete and utter terrible hangover when I'm doing the vlog tomorrow because tomorrow's vlog recording day. Friday nights are for fun. Yeah, well, Saturday nights are my fun time because I do my vlog and then I go home and drink more. Bye, Felicia. 
All right, go ahead, uh, Mr. Just Right One. All right, so tonight, guys, I am rocking that Fernway 26650 that I won in the Helping Family Waffle, which I'm very, very, very damn proud of. Uh, it's not me. It's not my style. It's got the ET on up top. I just, uh, I owe it use, you know what I mean? Out of like a respectful thing, I owe it use. So picked up some of them, uh, home tech, homegrown 26, 650s and put in there inside of that. I got skip fish. The guy who makes this juice is the guy who gave me the mod. There you go. About damn time. I get fucking presented. Well, no one was talking. Shit. Well, let me okay. Okay. What's so tonight, was guys, <laughs> I was rewind. <laughs> Joel's on something else tonight, guys. <laughs> I'm rocking that Fenway. Fernway, Fenway, Fernway. It's actually Fernway. Twenty six six fifty with the Ethion up top. Inside of it, I got the damn. That's really bright. It's Skipfish. BBM, which is a bourbon brown sugar milkshake, and it is freaking phenomenal. Hey, Joel, can you do that again? We can't hear you. You're muted. I better not be muted. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Half a million comedians out of work, and this guy wants to be funny. And of course, my trusty Arc Mod 240 with the VLS up top. Oh yeah, we know what that kills. Oh, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm not saying it. <laughs> and I got my trusty drink. Can you read that? There you go. Bam. And I haven't made it yet, but I got Red Bull, Razzmatazz, and Jaeger for the win. Oof. All going in the cup. Boy. Jaeger, <laughs> huh? Did you know that Fern Fernweh uh, in, in Auf Deutsch in German is uh, well it means actually it means so like the the second level meaning of that is like the urge, the need to travel. Like the like like it takes Vandalust to like another level. It actually comes with past uh, owner's manual. That has a passport section in it, in which you were to take to every show that you went that they were at, and they would stamp it for you. Really, very, very interesting. It is unstamped inside the manual. Hell, I don't even know if the guy used it that gave it to me, you know. But I felt that if he sent it to me, gave it to me, I owe it at least getting used once before I retire it. Put it up, pawn it, sell it, something along them lines. Demo, I'm going to have to ask you to not use so many curse words because <laughs> we're trying to keep this monetized, okay? Um, <laughs> it's all your damn fault, Demo. I'm not really sure where this is coming from. Just, hashtag just damn, general, general hashtag demo. damn Demo. Damn, damn demo. hungry, hungry Demo. All right, guys, so <laughs> I have – oh, wait, hold on. Look, see, I don't even present myself. See how that works? So tonight, I got a few different things going on. I have put my pods systems. I got a couple around me, but I'm not going to go through those. Um, I've got that Luna with the brand new Augvate Templar, which is pretty cool. Uh, testing that. I got the new Geekvate Blade Kit with the Phobia on it. And there's various juices. Uh, this one's got Burst, Strawberry, um, the Geek Vape Blade and the Phobia has Mama San, the Purple Yam, Cheesecake, and I'm rocking the Squid Industries with the Icon, the Double Barrel with the Icon, with some Burst, Berry Burst in there. Also, I'm rocking my Little Foot Kit with a 0.4 27-gauge stainless build, little bitty build I put in there. And this thing is rocking and rolling. I got some of that Bruce Lychee in there. I'm also rocking the B2K on the uh, Lazy Vapors Box Mod Mech Stabwood Edition. Ah. And then I've got two Dreamers, stainless and copper coated in black with the Bonza on top. Inside that, I am rocking 
Oh, what was that called? Um, oh, no, it's this. This juice head pair. And then in this one, I'm rocking the uh, uh, Devil's Punch Bowl with the QP on top. So that's what I'm rocking. And then to drink, I'm drinking the same thing I drank last week because it was delicious. The Rogue Dead Man's Ale. All righty. And that is what we're doing tonight, y'all. Or Dead Guy or whatever, you know. What is it called, Dead Guy? <laughs> <laughs> dead oh. Guy Ale. What a, whatever. Don't you love when you, you like say the name of a product and hold it up and it's the wrong name and you're like, oops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happens a lot, actually. What's uh? I, I was going to say something, Nick, to you about something that you were vaping or something like that, and now I've forgotten. Well, we're not mine. <laughs> so what do you expect us to do, guess? Let's see. Ah! Nudge, nudge and nudge, nudge <laughs> combo. Nope. The diamond and nope. not PM. It, not uh, the Cali and the 21700. Nope. The Asher, no. The Oh, the Stig? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. There you go. So on my Stig, right, I finally finished it off the other day, right? And my question always was, or my, my thought, I was like, so which is going to come first? Is the battery going to die first, or is the juice going to run out, and I'm just going to get a heinous dry hit, right? Uh, the answer is the latter of those two things. I got the worst dry hit in the world, like at the end, and I was like, oh, okay, that's done. <laughs> There's I don't know a about solution your guys' experience is that. There's a solution to that problem. What's that? I'm not saying it's a million dollar answer right there. Hell, they got to pay me for that answer. <laughs> the answer is put more juice or make the battery. I don't know. They got to balance that shit out. So, no, it is a very common issue. Did you cut it open yet? No. Ooh, what? I want to do that. I'm going to do that when mine's dead. Mine's still Why not have dead. You not cut that? How did you not want to cut that open? I haven't thrown it away. Well, I would, as soon as that bitch gave me a burnt hit, the first thing I would have done is took the Dremel to it. Yeah, I don't, have a, I don't have a Dremel, so. Um, I forgot, <clears throat> excuse me, 9 p.m. Strawberry Cheesecake by SQN is what I got in my Luna. Just wanted to, because this is delicious, by the way. Oh, I have a code, too. I'll put it in the description for SQN if you guys want to try any of the um, the TFN nicotine, tobacco-free yeah. nicotine. You love the group that much. You share it with all them before you share it with us? Seriously. Jeez. Dude, it's not right. dude. Like, dude, if you dude. were if you were subscribed to my channel, oh. you would have seen it already. <laughs> you subscribe to your channel. If anybody on the panel supports everybody on here, it's me. I absolutely Bye. and watch <laughs> all the videos for everybody. Just everyone, that, everyone, right now in chat. Just make sure that little gray box right underneath the the share icon is grayed out and not red. If it's red, click it. And you could also click that little bell right next to it and, uh, you know, sign up for some notifi notifications to, you know, let you know when we're live because we're frequently late because of Stan. <laughs> I wore, it's oh. almost there for the win. Almost there for the win. Technical difficulties. <laughs> I'm trying to get it worked out, okay? It's taking a few weeks. I'm, look, Excuses. I'm working on it. All right. It's this live thing, dude. I, I, recording videos is cool. But live videos are killing me. I'm working on it though. So where's uh, where's Twisted Four Twenty? I don't know. I just sent him another message and said, "Look, special punk guest. Man, if you don't get your on here, me and you gonna have to square up in the parking lot tomorrow. <laughs> We're gonna stay that far from each other." Hold on. I think you. I've got related. Wait. No, you punk. Oh, and, where's, and where's the code? While we're kind of uh, in the middle of topics here, everyone make sure you go and click that share button while you're at it as well. You know, get this out there, invite some people in. Everything's more fun with friends. So, guys, I'm going to say it again. I know he did the 9 p.m. thing. Man, this skip fish, BBM, I'm not playing, dude. This thing is freaking phenomenal. Oh, everybody on the panel, y'all have got to try it. I'm not joking. Oh, I, did, I did not think bourbon, brown sugar, milkshake would go good. This shit right here is, and I don't know if it's the easy on that's doing um, it or what, but it's a, it is it is on point. It really is, and very rarely do I get a juice that has me like that. Well, dude, and the Emtheon is just such a great, a great RDA. Like that's yet to be determined. That's yet to be determined. 
No, it is. It is. Sorry. It's not right until it's just right approved. <laughs> it, it's just right approved. He just doesn't know it yet. So now that we have uh, the audio, I'll have to find it later. I, I picked up one of these. The link? The, the code. You're interrupting me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor little thing. Oh, uh, no. Hold on. Let, let, me, let me present. Let me present Nick while it's back. Turn to everybody there. How does that make you feel, Demo? <laughs> I'm trying to give our viewers some good information here. <laughs> anyway, this thing, I just picked this thing up. This is the uh, Soren iShare. And this is that double pod system where you've got two of those, you know, pod guys that you can, you know, take take both of them out. And I thought, you know, there's there's multiple uses, right? You can have two different flavors with you or whatever. But one of the things that I definitely plan on doing is when I bring this with me. If I'm out with friends who smoke, it's a really good opportunity to, when you go outside with them, to bring this with you, pop your pot out, and then be like, "Hey, you want to, you know, you want to try, you want to try vaping?" and pull out your second pod, right? Boom, you've got two pods. It's great, and then that way, they, that way, they feel like they've got their own, you know, and then they don't have to keep passing it back and forth. You know, my mindset on that is uh, paint one of them hot pink, or get like a hot pink wrap from J wraps on it, and have the same flavor in both when I want people to try the profile that I'm trying. But here, try it. And I have to worry about them getting their lip cruds and Uncle Herps all over my damn Yeah, totally. System. Uncle Herps? <laughs> Uncle Herps. That is the first time <laughs> I've ever heard that, Joel, and I gotta admit, it made me feel a little weird. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't have that weird Uncle Herp, you know, that was single and always had 20 bucks on Friday and you disappear for a couple hours and come back a couple weeks later, you know? No nope. little friends come visit around his lip. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag after show. Jeez, after show. You're, you're you're going. You're going <laughs> I just didn't go to the after show. I'll just go. Be, I'll go start the after show. Wait for y'all to get there. <laughs> right. Hashtag, Joel's already there. Hashtag your channel. Dave Satek 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 says, "Put Kimmy on. Beards are cool and all, but it's Friday. Pretty women ease the eyes, or maybe for the late show, maybe." Question marks. You know what uh, if uh, oh Richard don't answer the damn call the the call to to my brethren, I will have to call to my sisterin. <laughs> well, let's get a little bit on. Um, let, I mean, do you guys have any questions in the chat or anything before we get to rolling on a, our topic for the evening? Or I got I got to tell you guys. I got to tell you guys. Gotcha. I haven't. I haven't. I got to. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me no, um, tell you something. Tell me something good. good. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he knew what I was leading to. Copyright strike. <laughs> up what I'm laying down. Um, I, dude, this thing, the RBA deck is really small, but it don't need much. I got this thing at 35 watts on a 0.45, and it's fantastic. Um. I really, really, really like this wake tank. I've only been using the mod for a day, so I can't tell you about that. I had to get a new one. Chessy says, Tenacious TZ Vapes put me on. Heck no, you can't even spell my name right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I real quick give a, an Instagram shout out to at om.my.lanta? Uh, he posted and tagged us, which is awesome. He says he's getting ready for the Friday night, and I'm feeling all right, ready to watch the vapes, vape steam live stream on Tenacious Vape Steam, Vape Stew. Here, I gave you a shout out. Come on, <laughs> vape stew. <laughs> you messed up. <laughs> the Stooges have uh, spelling issues. <laughs> also, uh, Sammy Nitro fifty one fifty. Big shout out! Big shout out to you as well yes. uh, for posting on Instagram. All you guys, make sure you tag us on Instagram, repost our posts, etc. When it's showtime, all the support and uh, is very much appreciated. Dan think, Mansfield says, "That's me, brother. That's me, fat fingers. I'll fix it." <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. I'm just messing with you. By the way, <laughs> should we? We should. Um, we should deal with that giveaway for the. Uh, the the don't do that painting. yet. Everybody will dip out afterwards, man. You oh, say that. You... Well, no, no, no. The, the people have already sent us their submissions. Like that. That's that's a thing that's like 
always happening, but I'd say we'll save them, keep them on the hook, find out who the winner is. Right. Well, you know what we could do? <laughs> what we could do is we could read off a few right now, kind of get an idea, pick like one or two that we like. And, then and if anyone could... wants to submit your last minutes, you can get them in. Uh-huh. Yes. The we man, don't have... that man right there knows what he's doing as a YouTuber. Yeah, we don't have to pick them right now, but let's like, let, while we give uh, Mr. Twisted a few minutes, um, let's go ahead and demo. De- I like demo reading them off. I think it's funny. If you want to read them off, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let me let me pull them up real quick here. All righty, vape stew. All right, punch vape that like stew. button, says Mr. Panda. I agree with the sausage fingers, like a stooge. Yeah, see, here's the thing. Okay, well, no, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me see. Right. What you think. So let's see here. Um, so we've got vape stooges, which I particularly enjoy, um, and vape stu- yeah, vape stooges. That's that's definitely one. Uh, let's see here, vape stew crew, as, as we 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 talked about the late the other week. Yeah, boy, <laughs> that's uh, Demo's second group. That's my second group. That's one that's the, uh, the 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 Demo non vaping group. One dollar. <laughs> one dollar. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, here we've got one from Oh My Lanta. There you go. Let's see here, Illa's breasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't think so, but I really enjoy that. <laughs> Let's see, I'm, I'm passing judgment on these. It's not really up to me, right? <laughs> Alone. Let's see here. Uh, another suggestion for Vape Stew Crew. Let's see here. Well, let me get my phone so I can type out what I what I like. True Stew Crew. <laughs> True Stew Vapors. Let's see here. I saw one in there that I liked um, the other day, but I I thought it would be better if two words are switched. But I I liked it a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Close mouths don't get fed. Well, I'll wait. When I hear it, I'll I'll, because I can't remember it now. (laughs) Two hours later. (laughs) Oh, is it the one that says boys in the in the stew vape crew? Is that the one that you're talking about? No. Because I think that that would be good with boys and the vape stew crew. But it's it's good. I like that. We got a lot of suggestions from the vape stew crew. I, I, I particularly enjoy vape stooges because then people who watch our show are called the stooges, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. That, that's, 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 all, that's all I'm reading for now. We'll that's read all you're later. reading for now? No, yeah, we'll read more later, man. I feel like, uh, <clears throat> well, tell them how to get entered as well. Yes. Go and email vapestew at gmail.com. I'll put a link down in the description. And uh, yeah, go ahead and email that. Email your last minute Facebook group submissions. If you are not part of the Facebook group, go search Vape Stew on Facebook and join our group. And uh, Facebook yeah. group name submissions. Yes, yes. Your Facebook group name submissions. Yes. I'll put so this link. Question for, for the rest of the panel. Uh, if there's doubles, would you just randomly pick out of those or you want to like throw them into an actual randomizer and do it that way? I think if there are doubles, maybe, well, what, what do you, what, what would you say about the first like, person to submit it? And then that person, I don't know. Well, that, the, 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 well, I guess um, now you're right. Never mind. Go ahead, Stan. Monty. I know where you're going with this, bro. That wouldn't make sense. Well, I was just going to say, what if they, what if we don't even pick the ones that are doubles? Like, let's worry about that if that happens. Right. Right. Fair enough. We'll figure this out. Okay. So, since our special guest isn't here right now, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in. Um, Joel brought up a good point in our little chat we got going on, and uh, I kind of am curious about it. I want to know what you guys think about it, and we'll ask anybody that uh, any of our guests that jump in later if they have an opinion. Um, but Joel asked if there was an end game, if we had an end game. Um, or if basically the title of this thing, uh, it says, is there an end game and exit strategy? Does there have to be? Basically, do you ever plan to quit vaping? Is the current market geared market geared towards eventually quitting vaping? Um, though, do we have to or do you feel like you have to eventually quit vaping like it's just a cool topic i'd like to hear about uh and joel you might want to expand on that a little bit since it was your idea uh, I, I, 
Go ahead. Guys, I'm going to just give it to you straight. There. I'm going to read off exactly what I sent to Stan. And it was just something that has been heavy on my mind. I've been vaping for a very long time. I enjoy it personally. I really do. But the, what I texted him was, is the industry designed to be a revolving door? Is there an exit plan? Do shops support those exit plans? The FDA doesn't see vaping as having an end game exit plan for smokers. And are we doing our part to change that? You know, with the whole American Cancer Society statement and whatnot, and shout out to Daly because he went over it on his blog. If you haven't, be sure to go back and watch that. It was very truthful on the matter, you know, and it made me go back and read that statement once more. So thank you for that, Nick. I really appreciate that. Uh, we know Stan likes presenting himself to everybody. So. <laughs> I'm not presenting right now. <laughs> I'm just joking, brother. I'm Jeez. messing with you, man. You like getting messed with too, huh? But no, really, guys, the American Cancer Society wants people to stop smoking and nicotine consumption, consumption in general. So they push more towards the chewing gums and the patches and whatnot to see if it helps and actually gets people to stop consuming nicotine in general. The shops, you know, it's a business for them. Do they really want to support people that want to stop smoking and eventually stop vaping? Or do they much rather just keep pushing the product and pushing the product? Well, here's the latest and greatest. Here's the latest and greatest. And here's the latest and greatest. You know, we are creatures of habit. So therefore, we're going to go back and back and back when something new comes out hey i want to try that hey i want to try that when we lose sight of the end goal well, initially the deal was to stop smoking you've accomplished that now do you really want to stop vaping and stop consuming the nicotine in general and go to a zero nick level and just have the habit of buying mods and putting e-liquid in it and producing vapor so can i speak for a second on of course a, yes, as a i am a vape shop employee for a lot of you out there, you probably know that already. I work at a vape shop in Enfield, Connecticut called uh, Voltage Vape. And speaking as a shop employee and a kind of, you know, heavy consumer of the industry myself, I can tell you this. Uh, people quitting vaping is not really a big issue for us because there's basically a constant supply of new vapors coming in. There's always people that are looking to quit smoking. And there's at least uh, at least 50 million American smokers. I, I forget the latest figures, but there's probably somewhere in the area of around 50 million, if not a lot more than that. I'm not sure the current uh, current numbers. But with that, you have 50 million people, potential customers, still waiting to try vaping for the first time and still waiting to quit smoking or try to quit smoking using vapor products. So therefore, there is a ton of of customers out there, regardless of, you know, a handful of them quit vaping altogether, which I don't feel like a lot of people are at this time planning on doing. I mean, yeah, there's a probably a couple thousand of them that are trying to eventually quit, but I feel like the current vapor is looking to continue because it's enjoyable. I mean, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the, the one thing that shops are concerned about right now <clears throat> is the decline of the cloud chasing mentality and the increase of the pod system because pod systems are really bad for vape shops. You sell them maybe a pod a week and a bottle of juice every, like a 30 mil bottle of Nixalt juice every two to three weeks. That is terrible for vape shops. Currently we have a market that's flooded with 200 plus watt mods and tanks that can handle said wattage consuming 100 plus mils a week easily and that is so good for vape shops it's not even funny which is why i feel like you know the industry is basically supporting the vape shops by coming out with more and more of the same thing that being said i still feel like the pod system and the smaller kind of mouth to lung systems like the aspire breeze the soren air soren drop uh me pod stuff like that is really good for the people that are looking to quit smoking but you're going to find probably more and more shops catering more <clears throat> more to the cloud chaser than to the newbie vapor so just kind of throwing that out there i mean it's definitely an industry that's catering more towards the money side of thing than the quitting smoking side of thing right and that's go ahead demo oh well if if you have a quick point, I, I have I have a a decent amount to talk about. So, 
Oh, I just have one quick point. Yeah, when you it. said, you know, the shops that are catering more towards the higher wattage mods and large capacity tanks, and you hit the nail right on the head when you said it's a money-driven thing. And that's something that we have lost in this industry that I hope to see become more prevalent and more relevant is the fact of the caring aspect. You know, I see comment, uh, nicotine is as harmful as caffeine, so why quit? You know, remember that it is 95% safer, healthier for you than smoking. 100% healthy lifestyle is what I would hope an end game would be for somebody. You know, at this point in my life where I'm at with it, it is a hobbyist thing for me. I do not have to have my nicotine. I do not have to have my vape. It is just, it's a hobby for me. I, it's something I enjoy. I enjoy leading others from smoking to this path. I hope mm -hmm. Nick, what Nick said resonates deep with a lot of people. When you walk into your shops and all you see is them high wattage mods that hold lots of capacity of juice and guess what they're going to sell you with everything other juice is a house blended juice that they made that the profit margin on is astronomically high you know so just remember that when you walk into your local brick, brick and mortar shop and when you're mm -hmm. online ordering you know i like everything as well but ultimately I want to help people reach their end game. And it needs to be said, I'd love to see a step down system that would be implemented or by shops are offered. You know, when people come in, do you want to stop smoking? Do you want to get to where you're not even vaping anymore? Is it a cost issue? Because that was a big driven thing. You know, it's cheaper than cheaper than smoking, cheaper than smoking. That was thrown out the window real damn fast. There's there's two two elements to that. One is though that that there is a gag order, you know, that that you can't like when I first went into a vape shop very first time right and i and i picked up a vape a uh <clears throat> a mod and whatnot i asked them about these questions about like well you know quitting smoking and this out of the other and they were like we can't really talk about that you know because we're not allowed to advertise this as a smoking secession product right so so there's there is that element of this but also i i wanted to bring up something that that, that kimmy said in chat that i think is a really good point and she says as strange as it sounds we are not the normal vapors most of us are hobbyists that have connected to the community aspect. Most don't even know this platform exists. And I think that really is what it's what it's about. I know several uh, several people that have used e-cigarettes to completely quit, right? They were smokers, they went to an e-cigarette and then now they're they don't do anything. Joel, what are you doing? <laughs> showing us showing his, 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 his chest. Um, <laughs> Chesticles. I think that there's there's a couple things that we need to be careful about with this as far as our community is that we do have a tendency to turn a blind eye towards any studies that are negative towards vaping, right? Regardless of whether they're scientifically accurate, there's this natural tendency and it's, it's natural because we are in this industry and we, we are a part of it in this community and these studies threaten the existence of this community, right? But if something comes out, for example, that is irrefutably you know, irrefutable evidence that multiple, you know, studies come out peer reviewed, everything comes out, you know, that, that vaping is actually, pr you know, pretty bad for you or something like that, then yes, I would stop because I started vaping to reduce my harm, right? And so if vaping turns out to be for, you know, for reasons we haven't been able to figure out yet, har more harmful or as harmful as cigarettes, or even close to that, then I would consider stopping, I suppose. But the reality is that, you know, the, currently the medical studies support the opposite conclusion of that. Um, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> you know, do I plan on stopping? Probably not. But, you know, again, as I just said, if any information comes out that would, would make me kind of think twice, then maybe I would consider that. But at the end of the day, you know, I think, I think it's up to you as the vapor. Everyone has their own thing. Some people cannot quit, right? And so therefore you know, maybe just, just keep vaping, right? Like keep vaping. If you enjoy it and you can't quit or you just enjoy it, maybe you can quit, but you don't want to, then whatever, that's fine. We have this option available to us. But if you do, if you are more of a uh, consumer and less of a uh, community hobbyist, so to speak, then, then I, I, I see that a lot. I see a lot of people trying to quit and that, you know, and completely quit. And I think that is honestly where pod systems and stuff are, you know, a lot of people are like enough with the pods, like, you know, it's, it's too many pods and this, that, or the other. And that, uh, that just has to, you know, it, it it's better for smokers. 
these these products are easier to quit smoking with than <clears throat> direct lung products for most people. That's a generalization, right? I know some a lot of people quit with direct lung products, but most people have more success with a mouth to lung style pod system. So, you know, I I, I think that does is there an end game? If you want there to be an end game, then there can be, you know. But if you don't, then keep doing what you're doing, you know, because at the end of the day, our the way that the nicotine levels are designed, we can reduce down to zero, right? You can't do that with cigarettes. And it it allows you to keep your habit and keep doing what you love, but you know, getting less and less of the nicotine. So then eventually you can quit if you want. I enjoy it. Go ahead. I enjoy vaping. I um, do too. I would probably, I, but see, I, I've gone like where I've been like a half a day and I haven't vaped or something like that. And <clears throat> I don't feel like I have to, I want to, um, I occasionally will get very stressed out and, you know, pull on the fix or whatever and kind of ease that a little bit. Uh, a little high nicotine action kind of helps me because I am a high stress individual. That's just how I am. I know it's hard to believe. Um, but, but if I ever did quit, which I probably could and I might one day, I don't know. Um, I think I would still do what I'm doing here. I think I would still be, I mean, I would still be running a, a vaping channel or I would still be active in the community because that's why I started in the first place was to help people understand and quit smoking. So as long as, like Demo said, I'm the same way. Are you guys hearing an echo? No, no. Okay. Ahead. As long as you're not hearing it. Um, you have permission. <laughs> as long as like i'm not i'm not the type that looks down at every bad uh bad article either um i mean i do kind of go into it with a critical mindset but i don't you know i give it a shot like i, I want to know so i look at everything with kind of a grain of salt but i do look at everything uh, that i learn about and I would continue to relay that information. And if something like Demo said, if something negative did come out that was, you know, well, this is really bad and it's backed by this and it's backed by this and it's actually legit, then yeah, I probably would back off as well. Yeah. Um, have any of you actually read these studies? Like, have, have any of you guys actually gone into the Royal College of Physicians study and read the 200 page document? 200 pages are they paying me to read it no <laughs> then i haven't read it <laughs> I, I tried to read i didn't read my employee one. handbook and it's only right. three pages long <laughs> i i have read it and i encourage when when these studies come out if you have the time and the patience go try to find the full text of the study and read it because that is you can get it you can get a lot from an, uh, a summary but you really can't get the scope and method from a summary that you can when and when you're reading a summary, you're reading their their they're summarizing their own study, right? So <clears throat> try to go read these studies because that is where you really get the 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 real meat and potatoes of the information on that. I'd like to come back to that at the end towards the end of the show, yeah. Demo, uh, yeah, sure. because there is something that I I will be talking about in my vlog that comes out on Monday. Um, that I will be watching about about a certain study that came out <clears throat> recently. However, um, I started vaping on a cig like six and a half years ago. Looked like a cigarette, didn't feel like a cigarette because it was heavy. But uh, I never thought, one, that I would get so into this industry. And two, I never had a, an end game when I was starting because at my beginning, I just wanted to quit smoking and then just kind of roll with the punches from there. So... When things, when times got tough, when I was frustrated with my current setup, I would just upgrade. And I upgraded and upgraded and upgraded for the first like three months. And then I finally found a setup that actually worked for me. So <clears throat> as, as far as I'm concerned, a lot of people get more into it before they even plan on getting out of it. So at some point, some people will go up and then plateau and then maybe think about quitting and go down. But I also kind of wanted to raise the question, Stan, like you said, you would continue doing your YouTube channel. 
I still use three milligrams of nicotine. I've been on three milligrams of nicotine for years. Do I need the nicotine? Probably not anymore. Honestly, I could do without nicotine altogether. However, would you be able to even tr put your full trust into a vape reviewer that vaped zero? I mean, that's an interesting thing because I can will I will continue to support this industry no matter what. I mean, in one way, shape, or form, even if I'm not reviewing, I will continue to support it. Uh, but my question more or less to you Absolutely. guys, as well as chat, is could you put your full trust into a vape reviewer that doesn't use nicotine at all? I can actually answer that. I can answer that honestly. Um, sorry, Joel, did you want to say something? No, answer, please. Um, you have permission. I, <laughs> 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 if anybody watches my channel religiously, uh, you've seen Justin Vapor Addict. Okay. Um, Justin Vapor Addict vapes zero, and he'll tell you that. He he reviews products, little products here and there. He doesn't do a lot, uh, but he does use a lot of products. And me and him go back and forth with a lot of information and, and stuff. And uh, he's vaped zero ever since I've known him. He didn't start that way, but he's gone down to zero and he's stuck with zero and he stays at zero. Um, he does, he'll do a juice review with me at three milligrams because that's the juice that I get, but he doesn't take it home and he doesn't vape it. Um, <clears throat> he vapes zero. Now, when we talk about hardware or juices and things like that, the only thing that I hold a critical ear to when I'm talking to Justin about anything vaping related is his view on juice flavors and i like that we do juice reviews together because we will go back and forth on those things but it's also really interesting to hear how nicotine affects the flavors and stuff like that and that's really the only time that i'll ever i i totally 100 trust his opinion when we talk or if i ask for it um now if like grim green came, you know, all of a sudden started vaping zero. I, sure. I mean, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't trust the guy. I mean, he's been doing it for eight years at a certain nicotine. He's vaped all levels, all different types, types of setups. Um, why, why wouldn't you trust him? You know what I'm saying? Now, if it was somebody that started out at zero, had never smoked before, I'm not real sure how I would react to that. Well, well, yes, I would if they've already built up my their credibility with me, man, and loyalty and trust. Yes, I would, you know. But you have to ask yourself too, you know. We some people probably would be a little hesitant to believe somebody who's never vaped before, never smoked before. But ask yourself about the monetary side of YouTube too, you know. At what point was your trust sold? Hmm. You know, the trust in which you had in somebody. At what point was that sold? That's a topic for a whole different show. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think. But oh, yes, sorry. that one I guess more thing. I don't I understand mean, that. I'm sorry. I, 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 let I, him talk. Let go him ahead. Talk. Go ahead. No, I, I didn't understand what you meant by that. At what point was your trust sold? Say you believe. Say you religiously watch Joe Blow, the YouTube reviewer of vapes. Okay, uh -huh. you've watched him for years, and he started off small like everybody else has. Then he reached a point. To where he has ballooned to something greater than m the mind can fathom. And he has now sold himself and his opinions and his bias to manufacturers of such. And at okay. that point, he has sold your trust in him to the highest bidder. You I know, think, I think that has less to do with nicotine, though, and more to just do with the fact that, like, that's, you know, like more it, morality. Well, yeah, I think that has more to do with, like, business stuff you know i mean as far as that goes <clears throat> but it was just in reference to trusting your right. youtube reviewer right and uh jfm said in there uh <laughs> damn it hazy threw me off he said i sold that a long time ago <laughs> right. <laughs> right uh JFM and I said earlier man he said i don't give a shit about the nicotine levels it's about the character you know once you trust that character and that individual and build a rapport with them that's what matters most so i salute that and respect that but nick i had one question for you earlier you said about the pod systems more people go to quitting on pod systems but look at the nicotine levels in those pod systems 
um, <laughs> if any of you guys watched, uh, what was it? The other day, I did a video and I asked whether or not uh, nicotine salt liquids should be more closely regulated, I not regulated, but that was the daily question. Yeah. Yeah. So I asked a question and I got a lot of responses to that. And most people say that, yeah, they should have a standardized, uh, not regulated standardized uh, system for nicotine salt liquids, just like we have zero, three, six, 12, 18, 24 in 98 percent of liquids obviously there's a couple of outliers here that here and there that do two four or two four six whatever you know that those type of things but i mean i'm under the impression that we we should be kind of all coming together as an industry and just kind of formulating a plan to help people quit basically that's the the end goal for most people is to quit smoking cigarettes and uh, most people will eventually lower their nicotine level so if, if you only have options in nicotine salt liquids and you only vape a pod system and your lowest milligram, you know, that you could even purchase is 25, how are they supposed to transi trans transition from that onto either regular nicotine or if they just go from 25 to zero? I mean, what's what's well, what's not only that, that, it's expensive for a shop to keep all of that stock. <clears throat> it's expensive for a shop to have, you know, 24 to 60 milligrams in five different flavors, you know, and then 25 different flavors, all zero to 12. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that costs a lot of money and it don't move very fast. So, right. I do think that that is a thing. And I, 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 I would love to start seeing some more, salt nick liquids especially for these pod systems starting to come in different levels well i mean they already do but like starting to come in some lower levels right the lowest i see for the most part is 20 in the salt nicks and i mean mr salty has their five milligram line for the direct lung <clears throat> type of vaping but that's a big jump from 25 to 5 right so i would love to and i would love to see pod system manufacturers coming out with two at least two different levels if not more you know i mean that would be that would be really nice because we, I feel like we sit in an echo chamber a lot of the times <clears throat> because we are, as I, you know, as we talked about earlier, we are in the industry. We are vapors, right? And so our goals are going to be a lot different than I would say the vast majority of the people who are actually using these products. You know, I mean, <clears throat> we have a, a community here, but how many more non-community vape, vape people, vapors out there do you think that there are? You know, I mean, I, I have to, I have to imagine that it's, it outnumbers our community by a lot. You know, I mean, I've, you see people all the time, you know, the, pe those people are not public with their vaping, right? We, we get out on social media and, and praise it and, 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 and you know, uh, try to, try to elevate it so that people can see it. But if, you know, if you're just a regular person, are you going to post about it on Facebook? No, like, you know, it's private. <laughs> They don't. Most people don't want people to know that they're smokers or that they're vapors. What's the what's? Nick was talking about a transition in pod systems. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, damn. What you're is... excused. You have permission. <laughs> Joel puts on the red jacket. And all of a sudden, he Dude. feels like he's got he's got the he's got the rock sand lights in the back, <laughs> and he's got the red jacket. The Put dude. on the red light. light. Yeah. Bitches get stitches mug. He's got yeah. He's got the brass knuckle mug. Man, Joel is just a uh, uh, hard Mr. DHL over there pimping it tonight. Um, so he's gonna get the baby powder out in a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, so I'm just a long line of assistant pimps. <laughs> <laughs> what would what would you do? I mean, okay, the good thing about mods and, well, maybe not a mechanical mod, but you get what I'm saying. The good thing about mods and atomizers and things is the transition. And it can, if you, it's like, if you go out and buy a small dual 18650 mod to start with, you've got something that you can grow with, basically depending on what you put on top of it, right? And what kind of juice you put into it. Now, you go out and buy a pod system you don't really have anything to grow with. You have something you're going to use the same thing for 
God knows how long. And like you said, the juice levels don't go down. So you're kind of stuck at one situation. And if you don't know any better, you don't ever transition down um, if you want to. So I'm just curious, what is a possibility? And if you come up with a crazy idea, let's not say it on here. You can talk to me about it personally afterwards. But uh, <laughs> um, I'm just joking. But what what could what what could be done with the pot? <laughs> what could be done with the pod systems that could actually help with that transition actually help without just changing the juice but what could you do all what right about an adaptive mouthpiece that would come from a more restrictive mouth to lung type vape to a direct lung type vape or something along the lines where you went from direct lung to mouth to vape an adaptive mouthpiece system where the pod system stays the same but the vape experience changes as to how you're vaping and how much nicotine you're consuming when you vape that would be an end-all answer right there would it not no oh. sorry sorry to be, I, I, but but no not in my opinion well, we're talking about the non-simple minded, so we'll proceed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why. Okay. And Nick has something he wants to say, so I'll make it quick. Um, I believe that that's not the end all answer because how you're changing the vape experience, but how are you changing the vape experience other than basically dilute is not the word, but di without basically diluting it? Like, that's all you're really doing. Stepping down that nicotine need, that nicotine craving, lower and lower and lower. You know what I mean? So you can get to down to start at a 40 mil or a 35, 25, 20, 12, 9, 6. But see, 3, for me, 5. for me, the density of the vapor is what was satisfying. That's what I spent so much money trying to figure out how to do that would actually keep me off the cigarettes was like the dense, thick, actual good hit. Like, um, you know, I like bigger clouds. I like pod systems, but I've always got an RDA on me. That's Throw just... in some of that salt nick in one of them lucid RDAs you got built up and hit that son of a gun on full mech and see how <laughs> you like it. That doesn't even apply to this conversation. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Go I'm ahead, just trying Dave. to think of ways that you could have an adaptive pod system. Uh, I have some ideas, but they might be worth some money. <laughs> You're right. We'll Keep talk yourself. afterwards. <laughs> I have some ideas too. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, just generally kind of topic ideas as far as that's concerned. I would say something that grows with you, something that you can change super easily and not even like do any effort really, like something that adapts to your vaping style. We'll talk after the show. Anyways. Right. My I'll tell, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. I'll, one more thing. One more thing, real go quick. Ahead, go ahead. I'm just putting this out there. Obviously, like the jewel issue is a big hot topic nowadays, all covered by news media's and stuff like that. If the jewel came in zero milligram, I'm pretty sure they would still buy it. Like the younger people would still buy it. Just putting that out there for discussion. Go for it. I agree. I want to discuss that because I agree with it. But here's 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 the here's the thing. It used to be. Before Nick Saltz, and I haven't been vaping for super, super long, but I was around before Nick Saltz, right? Um, before Nick Saltz really were a thing, it was super easy, right? You you just were like, you have 24, 18, 12, you know, sometimes 9, 6, 3, and then 0, right? And it's pretty simple about how you, you know, <clears throat> figure out, you know, if, you're, if your goal is to, to try to quit, you start at the high end and you go down, right? Now with the Nick Saltz, it's just thrown everything up in craziness now. Um, I think ultimately what it boils down to is that if you want to quit, if you want to lower your nicotine consumption, regardless of what the device is, you still have to do it, right? You still have to make that leap. Like regardless of, you know, we've made it easier with vaping, right? However, you still have to do it. At the end of the day, you still have to make that choice to eliminate your nicotine or to lower your nicotine and deal with the irritability and the, the potential, you know, physical withdrawal symptoms that you might get. Right. So to the end of like talking about an adaptive solution, right. I think that systems like the little foot kit where they come with a mouth to lung and a direct lung coil head are great because then you can, you can do your direct lung vaping as you, as you choose. And then you're sorry, as you do your uh, mouth to lung vaping, 
you know, as you need to. And then maybe you start getting super low on your nick levels and then you start transitioning to direct lung. You already have a product that does both. Well, did we forget the conversation that we had the other day on Savs with uh, Vape Finder? He spoke of a company called InnoVap. InnoVape? With the, yeah, with the, it kind of adjust it for you throughout the day. Those people are on the right track. Cause I went and did some research on that. I was very, very intrigued and interested by what he had to say. So I went and done some research on that. I'm very interested to see how that company progresses. I hope somebody they get some really nice backing financially to really perfect that because that is, you know, lack of better words, the future of vaping. <laughs> The only pod system, in my opinion, that's got it right right now for any kind of transition. Don't you say the fix. If you say the fix, we know you got paid for that one. <laughs> Lena, know, Le- no. Lena's sending them some stuff for that one. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Okay? Except Lena. Over I was going to say. All right. Uh, fix vapor. I was, yeah. Hey, I like that hat. <laughs> Look, I, I, have, know, I, I like the hat too. I have no problem putting on a hat or a t-shirt or talking about something I enjoy. Okay. If somebody sends me something, I will tell you that they sent it to me, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to like it. Can we like be real for a second? You guys oh, know, real. you guys know this. I don't get paid to do this. However, back to the conversation. <laughs> Cause all like, it should just be hashtag rag on stand. That's what it should be. Screw robo stand hashtag rag on stand. That's what it should be. Uh, yeah. Look, look at Mr. USV. Like Joel, Joel's like the arc mod. It's amazing. It's the number one mod ever created. USV. Where's my USV knee pads? Oh, oh. Oh. So, <laughs> <Shots> fired. <laughs> right behind your fixed plug. Oh. <laughs> so, so let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I think that if they created e pods that had a little less airflow. They'd have a perfect thing because they could have the ones with a little bit less airflow and the ones that are there already. Because you can lung hit this and you can mouth to lung this already, but for some mouth to lungers, it's, it's a little bit airy, right? Okay, okay. Taking this in a slightly different direction, yes. not talking about any of the technology that we currently have. Okay. Um, how would you guys feel about a pod system that you didn't have to adjust, but it did adjust itself by learning your vape habits? That's what Joel was talking about. That's awesome. Well, that that would be badass. Yeah. I mean, that would be cool, man. Would would you think that would be like the easiest possible way to actually like quit? Yes. Possibly. I mean, there is innovation left. You know, like, like, like we keep doing this reiteration of the same theme in this industry. There is plenty of innovation left. Let me me clarify something too, guys. When I say, is there in game that I don't want their innovation to stop and just go for a solution to stop vaping. You know what I mean? I, it's, a, right. it's something I'm passionate about. I want to see not, not just my children, but my children's children, children have innovation as to how they can st- receive their nicotine levels. They choose to wish because nicotine is not going anywhere. Just like caffeine, sugar, it's not going anywhere. It's going to oh. be part of our, unless the FDA the decides it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what are you I'm, laughing about? I'll show you in a second. I don't think that there is anything <laughs> on the market that I would have actually been able to quit with just on its own. Sir, <laughs> I disagree with you because no, I, at I lucidrda.com, you can find your solution to quit smoking and quit vaping. <laughs> Absolutely correct. <laughs> Absolutely correct. Now All right, so pads. <laughs> yes order now and get free knee pads but hurry quick act now <laughs> so this is what i'm laughing at the um the stooges are at hard at work here oh great oh man oh, come on Let me take a look <laughs> oh man oh man oh man oh, by the way on. guys I, I did just want to bring up that we currently have over 100 well now it's 100 <laughs> we have 100 people watching <laughs> the, <laughs> we have likes. the first time this has ever happened as far as i know Nice. And yeah. we have, let's see, how many likes do we have? 69 68 likes. 69 <laughs> likes. You're uh, still screen sharing. I'm still, <laughs> oh, I'm still screen sharing. Sorry. 
Terrible host. Hashtag terrible host. Hashtag hostess with the mostest. Hashtag, hashtag fire the host. Hashtag kick Stan off his own damn channel. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's, it's you know, I want to say something. We have. I can't believe I was stood up, man. You know, I've been stood up before many times. I'm not. It's not it's nothing new to me. I've been stood up before. By, you know, like really hot chicks. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll call you and never get my phone ringing or anything like that. Or, yeah, sure. You can come over, show up at the address and it be the wrong address. You know, like I've had that happen before, you know, but like the dude stays like right down the road. I could literally hang these up, walk down there, knock on his door. And be like, hey, where the hell you at, man? We're doing a live stream. So I'm a little, little, do that. my feelings is hurt. Maybe you should go do that. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I think I'm going to just uh, boycott on his next live stream when we get on there. Post just on boycott that. Yes, I've seen that. Put Hashtag don't group. be a Richard. And it's uh, it just showed him in the hospital, correct? I see you. Oh, it looks good. It showed in the hospital. I see you, Kim. That's it. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Oh, I was going to mute him. All right. Go ahead. Sorry about that. All right. You well, didn't I'm, mute me, did you? I was going to. What? I didn't give you permission to mute me. <laughs> Where's my baby powder? <laughs> I pie hope your wife pie crust. <clears throat> pie crust. Wait, no, I have to do it. Right come thing. in here and slap you. I'm going to see it in a minute. Just wham, big old hand baby powder. <laughs> you, know what? you know what? You can be mad at, at Twisted because, uh, you know, I put that on. The, I put them on the, the thumbnail and everything. I, I, I don't know, man. But uh, Jay Hayes hit me up and said, hey, wh who's on your live show today? And I said, Twisted. I said, do you want to come on a live show? And Jay, yeah, I hope he's still in the chat. He goes, he goes, no. Uh, he goes, Fridays are hard for me. And I said, but we do our shows on Friday. And then he comes in the chat. So <laughs> um, in all fairness, I will give Richard this. He did. He does clarify to me that, you know, he's very, very particular and very odd about this. He has some really unique ways about him. One, he does not eat meat with bones in it at all. He just absolutely will not. Neither does right? my wife. And his Friday nights and his weekends are his family time, you know, and I respect that, you know, because him and his wife have conflicting schedules. They don't see each other all day. They only see each other a little bit at night. Thank God. I'm glad about that. Now. But, uh, uh, <laughs> shit. But no, he did say, you know, his weekends are, you know, kind of reserved for his family time. And I got to respect that. But, you know, he did, he did say a possible guest and it does say possible guest. Thank you, Brandon Boats. I greatly appreciate that. It does. But uh, I was hoping he would come in and, you know. Next kinda... week, possible <laughs> guest, Donald Trump. <laughs> Frank Wolf said, vaping with Twisted 420 has not returned. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's never been present, so you can't return if he's never been present. Well, watch. Uh, now so he's going to How many likes we got? You got 85. 85 likes. Y'all give me 100 likes. I'm going to spit bars for y'all because that's what Daily wanted. Ooh. Spit we got a little bars. Not that I'm any good at it. Not that I'm any good at it. But oh, hey, I'll I got to find I gotta find some beats. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just, I'll just beatbox for him. No, just, <laughs> Let me see what you got beatbox-wise. Give me some. Beautiful. Just so I can know. Just so I can know what I'm working with. Um, X1 for demo beatboxing. Now, now I'm just going to end up doing like a standard Boots and Cats thing. Like... <laughs> Hold off on the beats. Whenever I go to spit my bars, be sure to hit the mute button on. And I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I, can, I can do the turntable sounds though. The the. Oh, can you do the water sprinkler. The water sprinkler. Yeah. There you go. Who did that? The. I did. What kind of water sprinkler do you got? I'm on the low end of the totem pole. That's your water sprinkler. <laughs> nah, I can't do it. <laughs> Look at all the X ones. X ones. X one. X one. Hey, you know what? X one. If you want Kimmy Vapes to come on the show next week, there we go. Let's see those Girl! X ones. <laughs> How many subs do we get? Uh, Damn. Ninety-four <laughs> likes, ten likes like that. Holy oh, shit! Y'all slow down, guys. I wasn't even ready yet. I was. Just... <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh look, here come the X ones. <laughs> well, there's a lot of X ones. 
Uh, here we go. X10 if you want our spouses to get on and do the show for us next week. Uh, <laughs> vape spouse. X100 if you want Kimmy Vapes to come on in her pajamas next week. <laughs> Well, she said she's chilling in bed right now in her pajamas. In her jammies. Yes. She says jammies. Hashtag jammies. jammies. Full Savage says, where is Thesis? Oh, Jesus. Thesis. Yes, I love Thesis. Dude, thesis is actually, I've been, dude, have you peeped? Ha, peeped. I'm, I'm going to talk like him now. Whoa. Have you actually checked out Thesis's channel lately? He's, he's upgraded. He has upgraded. And not only has he upgraded, I just talked to him today. He got a new camera, like a freaking crazy expensive uh badass camera and so he's taking his new format and he's upgrading the video and dude he's changing everything and it looks it's it's pretty badass he's dropping a new video tomorrow that he kind of gave me a preview on it looks pretty cool so you guys should check out vaping with thesis he's pretty did you ever find that code you were going to share with everybody and didn't want to share with us but you wanted to share with everybody before you shared it with us uh for sqn vapor yeah you know the one you wanted to share with everybody else except us that, why would, I'm saying it to you. But you said it. Well, you wanted to you. share it with first. Well, we've chatted all day. We ain't heard nothing about a code. Nick, did you hear anything about a code earlier? I, I have heard no code. Demo, well, did you hear anything about a code? I, I, I'm I not aware of this code. Yeah, neither was I. I just want to Demo, why don't, why don't you read off a few more names? You're trying to get us uh, misdirected here. Nope, I'm not. Mm, I don't know. Let's see here. All right, yeah. Let's 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 read a few more a few more group names. There's a there's a lot of them because there's people that submitted like lots of uh, lots of different names. Let's see here. Where did I where did I leave off here? Okay, okay, okay. The clouded vapors or the clouded vapors show. I think Brett might have an issue with that one. <laughs> or he'd <laughs> love it. Or he'd love it. Yeah, one one of the two. We could do that if he sponsored the show. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Just saying. Um, let's see here. Didn't put the name in the last email. Vape Stew Spot. Uh, vape Stew Spot. Let's see here. We got Vape Stew Spot. The Stooge Lounge. Huh. Okay. All right. Let's see here. It's just Stooge combining Lounge. the names of all of our different groups. I know, right? <laughs> uh, vape Community Stew from, from, uh, from Bob. Let's see here. Uh, Bob, I like that, Bob. Oh, crap. There's more photos popping up in this vape stew. Group. Oh, I know. Oh, you think you're funny? <laughs> then you don't owe me money. PAL702 says uh, Chop Stewie. Oh, I like that <laughs> that's one. A good, that's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. It's riveting. <laughs> Uh, well, right. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to like filter through a lot of the uh, other emails. SQN20 is the code on sqnvapor.com. You can get 20% off. I am not sponsored by them. Check them out. Uh, that's the TFN stuff. I've done a review on their 9 p.m. Uh, their 9 p.m. line. You can check out on my channel. I also have a code for uh, the Cloudy Vapor. If any of you guys want a discount code for the Cloudy Vapor, it applies to your entire order. Heck yeah, and, put it in there. Uh, it is Demo10 on the cloudyvapor.com and it, it doesn't apply to certain things. There's certain, some of his like really, really expensive stuff on there does not, it does not apply, but for pretty much the vast majority of his inventory, it does apply. So I'll go ahead and put that in chat real quick and then I'll get back to reading the names. Oh, chowder, something chowder. There was a something chowder that was funny uh, in the, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, the stew pot. Yeah, 10% off the cloudy vapor. Let's see here. All right. We're back to this here. Stooge. Uh, let's see here. The dripping stooge lounge. Stooges are us. Dripping with the stooges. The bearded stooges. <laughs> the bearded stooge lounge. Hanging, <laughs> hanging with the stooges. Vaping with the stooges. <laughs> or mech me or leave me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's from George, George Cardenas. That's, uh, that's pretty great. I like I like a lot of those. Uh, we got another one from Tommy here. It says Game of Ohms. Mm, it's been done. Okay. Uh, has it been done? Oh, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, my Lanta. Cloud Chowder. Supper Club? 
Okay. <laughs> um, what? Vape stew, vape stew for the soul. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's, that's intelligent. I like that. Um, vape stew chow down. All right. <laughs> Here. <laughs> James Franklin. We got a submission hey. from James Franklin. The vape, stew, the vape stew connoisseurs and the vape stewaholics. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see here. Stirring the pot or the cauldron. Mm. That's funny. Um, we've got one from Kayla Pavlinch. I think that's how you say her, say her name. Uh, let's see here. The vape stewians. <laughs> Kayla. Okay. <laughs> The chat says coupon code for pizza, Hungry Demo 20. <laughs> <laughs> Trying it every pizza shop. I'm sponsored by all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that would be epic. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> People like the mech me or leave me. Uh, coil soup. Let's see here. In or insubordinate vapors. Insubordinates mm -hmm. of vaping. Diverse vapors. Let's see here. Uh, we got someone from Halvor from Norway. The vape stew own boys okay. <laughs> and girls sometimes and maybe. Girls. Yeah. See, I, I, personally, I would love this name to reflect not just us on the panel, but also everyone who's who's a member. Yeah. Right um, let's see here. I ain't seen a hashtag just right group yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Taming of the Stooges. I kind of like that one. Uh, I'm, I'm reading all of them, by the way. Um, Did everybody play off of Stooges? Because if everybody played off Stooges, Stooges is going to be the winner. I feel like I'm it's going to have to be the Vape Stooges or something like that, like along those lines. Um, Fifty Shades of Stew. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Stew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. I can rock with that one. Brazed and Confused. The Brazed and Confused Stew Crew. Brazed and Confused. The uh, Stewed Meatheads. <laughs> John Mills from Philadelphia sent that in. All right. Uh, Do it just right. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. Absolute the, negative. That's what's up, brother. The vaping comedy crew. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, funny. I'm, glad, I'm glad we're funny. Let me go find my rubber chicken. Ha ha, funny. Uh, funny <laughs> looking. Right, right. Uh, we've got just a few more here. Uh, Stooge Society. Uh, vape, vaping Stew Crew. The Stew Crew from Jared. Another one from Bob says the Bearded Vape Crew. <sighs> Let's see. What if, I what if we shave? Off? Yeah. Right, right. We're, we're screwed. Like if one day one of us has to shave. And what if uh, Kimmy Vapes wants to join this? Right, this yeah. Vape stew crew, you know yeah. what I mean? She can have to grow a beard. Well, oh, she already yeah. said. <laughs> holy, sh holy shit. The, uh, let's see here. Holy uh, shit! Oh, I, I can dig that one. Yeah. Let's see here, uh, we've got we've got we've got an email from the Cardmont experience that uh, is got a lot of names. Jeez. Um, oh, well, it's got like 20, 20 or thirty names in it. Let's pick out uh, some good ones. Likes. Uh, okay, well, I'll come back to that one, and then uh, we'll come back to that one. Um, let's see here. Vape stew stooge crew <laughs> from one from Benoit. Let's see here. We've got uh, the bearded Omos. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! Ouch! Ouch! Ouch. Uh, another one. For no, no. Yes. Omos. Hashtag no Omo. Yes, I love this one from Bob. No vape stew for you. <laughs> yes. Nice. Uh, the lounge stooges from Mr. Panda Pete. How about what it do vape stew? What it do vape stew? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, All right. Panda's Let's... got it right. Benoit balls. Benoit. <laughs> Benoit balls. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, All right. Here are some of the ones hey, from this Frank, card. Frank, you lost your ever leaving pancake flipping mine? 100 likes to draw giveaway his DHL jacket? Shit. <laughs> He's like, no, Good man. Luck. We need, we need like a thousand likes for that. Right? Not even a thousand likes is getting this jacket. Maybe uh, 5,000 <laughs> subs on my channel might get the zipper. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, dripping with the Stooges, the Bearded Stooges, the Bearded Stooge Lounge. Hang, we should call hang. it. We should call it. Just let it happen. <laughs> we should just, call it. Just let it hang. Just let it hang. Um, <laughs> the Dripping Stooge Lounge. Uh, we got another. Well, this is. Oh, this is the same guy that said mech me or leave me. Okay. Um, let's see here. Stooge Tube. 
<laughs> the Stooge Army, Stooges Unite, Stooging, Stooges United, the Council of the Stooge. <laughs> There's like so many good ones, though. Stooges of the Round Table. Who are us? The cult of the cult of the Dripping Stooge. <laughs> These are great. These are awesome. That one's bad. Stooge I Elite. Like uh, Stooge Times, Stooge Dynasty, Stooge Empire, Omega Stooge, Stooge Riot, the Stooge, the, the Stooge Maneuver, Stooge Addiction. Project Stooge, the Stooge Project. See, there's a lot of them here that are like rewritten in different ways. Um, the stew. You know the what that sounds like to me? That sounds like you went to one of those name generators and put <laughs> Stooge in there. And then uh, like, I don't know. I mean, it, it, a lot of some of these are pretty creative, though. Let's see here. Um, the Stooge, the Stooge Particle. <laughs> the Order of the Stooge, Lost Tribe of the Stooge. All right, all right. I feel like Stooge. Bucks, I feel like Stooge is, is 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 got it. You know what I mean? Like it's like definitely, gonna it's gonna it, Stooge is gonna be a thing. So, all right. Um, there was a whole lot of the vaping Stooge crew, and yeah. I only heard one. Just the Stooge crew. I I really like what was it? The first one that came out, the va vaping Stooges or whatever. Hmm. Are we doing this right now? Stitches or stooges? I mean, we, we got to talk about I mean, it, right? Might Robert as well do it in front of them. Stitches or stooges? <laughs> Robert Wiggles says stupu. <laughs> stupu. <laughs> stupu too. Stupu voopu. I wonder if we get sponsored Stoo. by voopu if we did that. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I liked uh, no no wait what was it no was it no <laughs> stooge for you? No, no stooge. No. For you. Yeah. Uh, no vape stew for you. Mm, I like no stooge for you though, because that kind of like that kind of takes it. I really also like Eric Stockins one that says vape stew, not live. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one too. That is really good. Well, I gotta say I like uh, full savages, stitches or stooges. Yeah. Uh, so the vape <laughs> stooges, the first vape stooges one that came in was from Shark Lover. Um, and then we talked about it, and then that kind of just like Set it off. Erupted yeah. from the Stooges. So um, he gets credit for that. I like the vaping Stooges too because it. I, I like something that includes not just us. I want it to be a community right. group Absolutely. where. Yeah. This is for all of you guys. Right. And gals. <laughs> and um, there's there more so, vape stew for you. More <laughs> vape stew for you. There are so many names here that I feel like it's going to be tough to, you know. It's going to be tough to decide right now. Oh, Bob just sent us an email saying the demo show and the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what I'm saying. It's time for me to shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you guys want to do? Like, should we like, uh... all right, look, we, we out of everything, we... look, guys in the chat, out of everything that you've heard, okay. Put in the chat out of what you've heard. Don't give us new ones because if it's not in the email, because we said we were going to pick from the email. Okay. Right. So, Go ahead. We're done taking emails, right? Yep. All submissions right, are closed. Submissions are closed. Anything after this time, right now, it is 10.30 Demos time. Ben, uh, ben Wah did just like sneak one in right before we said that, though, and says, I'm with stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, so anything after this time is no longer accepted. Um, we will go ahead. <clears throat> Robo Stan is not making an appearance this evening. I have figured out the issue, I believe, and uh, I'm going to do my best to... RoboStan can be a memory that we will love and cherish, but I'm going to try to make RoboStan go away. He'll be um, back. He'll be back. He'll, yeah. he'll be back. Yeah. Come, with, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> come um, with me if you want to live. <laughs> so go ahead and get in the stew pot. Go ahead and uh, uh, put in the chat which ones you like, and we will decide off that, and we'll figure it out by the end of the show. Okay? It's 1030 right now. Uh, we got like another half hour before we're done. So is there anything else that you guys want to talk about on our subject that we were talking about? Uh, uh, I mean, feel free to join join in the conversation here, guys. The end no, game was the subject of anybody just tuning in. The end game of vaping, you know, like your stepping stones, your path to eventually stop nicotine consumption in general. You know, where do you think the market stands on it? Is it a revolving door? Do you think the FDA would give us more credit of sorts if we 
proposed an end game or offered more end game solutions to vapors out there so that we can be considered the same as like the patches and the gums and all them other good things. I mean, would you think that would help this industry or hurt this industry? <laughs> TC Vapes, no more new ones. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, mm. Robo Stan. Hello, right. sorry, Excellent. sorry, uh, Joel. I was reading the comments. What, what I'm was listening it? to you, Joel. No, uh, if no, you guys no, had, I'm done. If you guys had any <laughs> questions or anything based on what Joel just said and what we talked about earlier as well, you can put those in the chat too. We'll be reading the chat. We'll be watching for things. Um, and while we are doing that. Oh, Joel, Joel needs to spit his bars because we were at 100 likes. Joel is going to spit his <laughs> bars. I should have set that bar higher. Right. His bars more. while he travels to Mars. Well, you know what? Hell, I don't give a damn. Mr. Daily Vapes, Nick Bissett, said, you know, you really need to spit some bars with your, your cool swag, your red DHL jacket, and your USV hat. Because <laughs> you're one cool cat. Uh, do I need to keep it edited or unedited? I mean, I guess... Matter? You know, use some good, 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 good judgment. <laughs> I have no good judgment when I'm coming off the dome. Oh, okay. come on. <laughs> come on. I'm going to try to keep it somewhat edited, all right? All right. Somebody drop a topic for the uh, the, the bars. Let's see if I can stick yeah. to it. <clears throat> okay. All right. It, hey, if you don't you know, I go by Mr. Just Right. Went by Iceberg you. for a bit. What? Go, go ahead. Messing up his flow up. <laughs> I know, but he said come up with a topic and then he starts go going. Go I'm giving you a topic. You want to oh, challenge the Houston Rodeo? That's the challenge. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't think Stan should come up with a, a topic so. unless he is w willing to spit <laughs> right back. He wanted it. He said somebody come up with All a right, topic. I got it. 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 Houston Rodeo. Rodeo. Houston. Houston. Houston Rodeo. <laughs> All right, bet. If you don't know, it's Mr. Just Right's the name. Went by Iceberg for a stint. Best believe I'll leave the blocks bent. Riding on 20 inch chrome free, styling off the dome with me, Demo Daily, and that boy, Mr. <laughs> Lucid RDA <laughs> from around the way. Told me, spit off a topic about the Houston Rodeo. What can I say, man? I'm a five star show. Sit back and watch me glow. Red lights popping trunk. Don't play me for a punk because I got something that goes when it dumps. Yeah. What? That's all I got for you. <laughs> all right. All right. Hashtag Stupak. Stupak. Hell yeah. Stupak. Oh, fuck. Break <laughs> 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 Wolf, what is that about, dude? Like, I thought you was cool with me, man. Come on. <laughs> Negative zero says, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> what the hell do you rhyme with Houston? Come on, man. Yeah. Houston, man, well, Houston's kind known of for his freestyling, man. Like Houston's like, but it's a different type of freestyle. It's a slow freestyle instead of like a battle rap freestyle. Mm. I've always actually been a fan of the battle rap freestyle as opposed to the Houston freestyle because the Houston freestyle is I done come down. I'm gonna do this. I done did that, you know. But as a opposed that to was a battle a rap, good impression. <laughs> that's exactly that what was. It is. I feel like I just literally heard like <laughs> at least a hundred hip hop rap songs. <laughs> In that, what you just did. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, the, you know, music. I'm a big music fan, guys. I was a radio DJ for many years. I actually enjoyed that. But music geographically can be summed up in a few things. So New York area is kind of like your mafioso mentality rap. The Midwest, uh, your St. Louis, Atlanta. It's kind of like your strip club type raps. Houston is your what I done did or what I done got kind of show off type raps. And the West Coast is like your gang banging raps, like your your epitome of gang banging raps, you know. So if you want to some, just play a song and I'll tell you what geographical area it's from, whether they're well known or not. You know? <clears throat> Absolutely. All right. So speaking of music, real quick, I have a question for the chat. Um, on my on my Facebook page, on Tenacious TX Vapes Facebook page. Damn it, daily. <laughs> gotcha. I just read that. <laughs> <laughs> Every week on Fridays, except today because I forgot, I do hashtag fresh groove Friday. 
in uh, in honor of Nick. Yeah, um, in honor of. In you know, honor of Nick. No, I was stolen. I was actually watching Fresh Build Friday when I came up with the idea. But uh, I'm going to change the name of it for one because I know it bothers Nick. Um, <laughs> I'm going to change it to Funk Me Up Friday. Okay. Doesn't bother me. You can keep it. I don't care. No, it bothers you, Nick. And Just you know cut what? Cut that I'm, check like you agreed to. No, I'm not going <laughs> to cut it now. Got I'm those knee pads. You, I'm not going <laughs> to. They're purple too. I'm not going to give you any kind of credit anymore. For Fresh Fruit <laughs> Friday, okay? It's Funk Me Up Friday, and I like Funk I Me Up Friday better though. I basically give a little bit of. Uh, I put a, a song or a band out there that I enjoy because <clears throat> I feel like it's a good way to kind of get an interaction going with uh, with you guys. You guys, I'm like pointing at the chat. Um, so I'm planning on moving that to the Vape Stew group instead of doing it on my page. If that's okay with you guys, if that's okay with the chat, would that be more? Would no. that be no? <laughs> oh hell, what is that? You do need to present me. I'm presenting you. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome! <laughs> that's a good one right there. That's, oh that's my Mr. god, Eric Stocken. Thank you for that. World's quickest photoshopper. <laughs> I know, right? Jeez. Fuck. Somebody said do a rap about Kentucky. Enjoy. I'll make it a one bar rap. All right. So so I'm gonna move Funk Me Up Friday to the stew the vape stew group. And with that being decided, here is what we're gonna do now. You ready? This or that. Only we're going to change oh, it to... Come out. We're going to do a rap about Kentucky real quick. Absolute was, negative requested a rap about Kentucky. I was trying to save you. If Kentucky but, fried chicken is finger licking, ask your girl if she's been getting sticking. Ooh. That's just a limerick. <laughs> That's not a rap. Uh, one, bar. One, uh, one bar. one bar. One bar. One bar. I'm a one bar star. Don't believe me? Ask your girl. I had last week. Had it in the back of my car. Oh. I bet you didn't Don't get believe me? Far. How do I know about that little scar? That's right, the one on the left side of her hip. Ask her who split that and dip. <laughs> Mr. Just Right did that. He's feeling it tonight, guys. Oh, he's God. feeling it. I'm getting Wait I, till the after show. Yeah, I think this is funny. I've been trying run. to hold myself back. Trying to hold myself, hold myself. Yeah. Wait till the after show. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm like embarrassed. I'm I'm embarrassed. Oh, you're embarrassed of me now? No, I'm embarrassed for you. Like, Why? <laughs> what, you think you're a better rapper, Stan? Yes, by all means, please. Uh, yes. dude, I need I need at least four more strong beers for that, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Frank Wolf says, now Demo for the rebuttal. The answer is no. I'm an opera singer. I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper either. <laughs> I have no rap ability whatsoever. I'm just I have no rap ability either. I think it's badass that you're rapping on Stan's Tenacious TX Babes channel. And I, I want to put you... My... What makes you think I can rap on this? No. Every, <laughs> every every Friday night at 7 p.m., Joel's coming on the channel to do Funk Me Up Friday 15 bar rap. Oh, and, uh, geez. Geez. One mumble rap, one bar. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Stan, I that, really know how that I Eminem mumble. song is not about you, Stan. Anthem and KFC for the Sands <laughs> Empire Bay Company Group. That's funny. My Gang special blend of herbs and spices. Um. So, would you rather? You ready? You ready? Go. For question. You you did your KFC. You have permission to ask us. Go. You well, you did your KFC rap. I don't want to cut you off again. Are you done with your KFC rap? This is what I do when I'm feeling my groove. <laughs> Uh, Wait, would you rather? I... This one's a thinker. You ready? I want to hear the chats, the chat thoughts too. Would you rather know the history of every object that you touch, or be able to talk to animals? Ooh. What would you rather? That's tough. This or that? I rephrase that question. Would you rather know the history of everything you touch? Or would you rather be able to talk to animals? <clears throat> oh, Shane Smith man. says you're an Oprah singer. 
Oprah <laughs> thing. I saw that. I saw that. My <laughs> answer is very simple. Are you ready for my answer or not? Yes. Absolutely. No, I'm going to wait. Y'all go ahead. I got my answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, my answer is I want to know the history of everything I touched because I could touch an animal and find out all its history. I could touch anything and find out its history. You know, I wouldn't really care to speak to animals. Hell, <clears throat> if I, well, what's the point? You know, or what do I want to talk to an animal for? I, I, I feel that like I, I also am with you on that. Like, like how cool would it be to touch like an old sword from like the 1200s or something? No, you're going way off track. I'm talking about walk up to a girl and touch her and know her no, history. Geez. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I mean, no God way. <laughs> my dad? I was coming. My, are you kidding me? My dad? No. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm going to pass on that one. Yes. I don't want to be able to ben touch was. and know the history of everything I touched. Ben Watts <laughs> comment. <laughs> all right what about you nick um i'm gonna go with talk to animal uh with talk to animals um because you could be friends with them dude like you could make friends with a bear and shit like that would be I awesome be friends with them too i can feed them i <laughs> could talk to animals and be like hey hey do me a favor like grab that money over there and, like bring it over here i would love to talk to a cat so i can tell it to stop being a, an asshole <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. It would be like, no, no, no. <laughs> Have you guys seen that text conversation? That's like the the thing. It's going around on Facebook that it's like the dude is texting with his cat or something like that. He's like, you left the stove on. Yeah, the cat says, and he's like, wait, yeah, like, what? what? We seen that like what five years ago? Did you just get Facebook this year? Too? No, it just came up again on oh, my on my Facebook. Fired. <laughs> Damn. We're supposed to be friends here. I know. Oh, you're you're really watching cool. vapes do break down right now. <laughs> <laughs> Joel is like, he's feeling it so hard that he just feels like tearing into all of us. <laughs> all right. So Joel, he muted himself. Look at him. I know. So yeah, Joel, he's got a rebuttal. Joel is, uh, he's going to rap again. So Joel <laughs> is feeling that he wants to know the history. Demo wants to know the history. Nick wants to talk to animals because mm -hmm. he wants birds to live in his beard. Um, I didn't think about that. That'd be cool, right? <laughs> no. Uh, I have a question for Demo and, and Mr. Just Right. <clears throat> have you ever thought about how many strippers' thongs those dollar bills have been in? Or, oh. tons, or I'd like to not think about it. Or <laughs> how many, how many, like, exactly, you'd like to not think about I it? I suspend my disbelief when I'm at the strip club. <laughs> Every time you touch a dollar bill, you would think about it. You think about all the fecal matter on that all dollar the, bill. All the cocaine that's gone all through. All the cocaine on the dollar bill and the fecal matter and the, the <sighs> look. I couldn't do it. Here's I the deal. I don't want to know. There's, there's, there's no. I don't want to know. Would, I would rather talk to animals if the, <clears throat> the if the situation was that everything you touch gave it gave you its history. Right? It would be overwhelming. Every every single thing you touch would be like you'd be like ah, but. <laughs> Exactly, you know, but that's you, what you wanted. You, but if you could turn it off, you, you didn't specify that. If you could like decide, okay, I want to know the history of this thing, right? And then you pick it up. You then I turn it off because you're sitting down, you're touching says, something. Says, says who you? It's like the Midas touch. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like the Midas touch. Man, I don't give a shit. I want to know the history of everything I touched, a dollar bill or not, man. I'd want to know. You know, like, hey, I'd like to know what the little uh, Asian kid did with the drip tip before it got sent to me or something. You know what I you mean? Know what like, you know what you Would you really want to touch that drip tip? No. <laughs> you know Where what you'd be learning right now? <laughs> you know what you'd be learning right now at this moment? What? You'd be learning that your chair is like, oh well, yesterday Joel farted on me, and <laughs> like that, like I, I wouldn't be able to do that. It would just be constant information in your head all the time oh yeah when you go to brush your teeth yeah your wife scrubbed the, tooth, the toilet with this toothbrush yesterday exactly you know, like, see that i would want to know them kind of things i want to know why i was about to whoop her tail you, know, you did yeah, but, but, know but stan <laughs> you also just think about it stan if there's I a talk to animals but if there's a bird <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah okay you talk to animal and animal says yeah I hope he bends over again. I'm gonna let him have it. You know, like exactly. Would you if really want to talk to animals? No, I don't want to talk to animals. Like I do like not. <laughs> a bird or a squirrel, like looking in your window, and they're like, "Oh, look at this asshole!" <laughs> like, yeah. Hey. That's yeah, why I mean, you, you can turn and be like, "I heard you," and they'd be like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> what? No, could you imagine that little bird be like, "Ha ha! Look at that! I said the neighbors got way better," you know, or something like that? No. 
like no if you i talk don't to want a dog, to talk to animals like would be like food 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 sleep <laughs> poop sleep food <laughs> so like me then <laughs> I, I, if you're gonna liken yourself to a dog i mean i, I, thought, you, I, I thought you were a little bit more interesting than that but <laughs> food poop and sleep yeah that's my three <laughs> that, is, that is kind of our lives as humans right yeah yeah just with a little bit of extra stuff basically around. a goldfish right <laughs> we're all just goldfishes yeah, they turned that into a drip tip. Hashtag recycle. <laughs> hey, look at Vape Stew Group right now. Okay. Hashtag Dr. Stew Little. Dr. Stew Little. <laughs> I love it. What's up, Nick? My mass brother. What's up, Vapor Swaggins? Sick username, FYI. <laughs> Vapor Swaggins. I just love it. He's on Instagram, too. Same, same name. Vapor yep. Swaggins. He sent me a message yesterday. But uh, he just Cloud said, "What's bro up, Baggins?" <laughs> Cloud Bro Baggins. See, that's 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 you gotta yeah. The Stew Shire. <laughs> we're Mr. Pet. We're all goldfish living on the flat Earth. <laughs> all right. Did anybody see any anybody's choices for names? No. You should present me though. Oh okay. crap! Again. Yep. The baby powder hustler. <laughs> Mr. Just, just right really. one. That's amazing. Just right. So Mr. Just right's not even looking at the screen. He's yeah. doing business. He's on Instagram. That's it. I gotta I gotta go like that. Boom. I hope all those are getting sent to me by chance, maybe. They're on the I like the way they spelled powder too. Not E R powder by powder. Give me that powder. Hustler, not even E R. Boy, that's just I'm surprised Z has an E at the end of it. <laughs> it should have been A, duh. <laughs> well, I think, uh, I don't know. Is he from your neck of the woods? Is the vaping gangsta? stooges. Everybody keeps putting the vaping stooges back in the chat. Yeah, man. It's, uh, I feel Whoever like it's... deemed that first, vaping stooges, man, you're the winner. I'm that's, sorry. That's, uh, that's my vote. Don't, don't, lover. Don't, don't let me. Shark lover sent us an email. And he was the first person to subject to suggest the vaping stooge, the vape stooge. Is he? Because I got a message on, on uh, the the group that said, "Hey, are you calling everybody stooges because of my email?" LOL. And I was like, I don't know, but probably. <laughs> mm. I guess we'll have to coordinate. I guess we'll have to look into like whether that's uh, what what time that was sent and what day. <laughs> nice quick. wagons. Good job. Real quick, I got a tag on Instagram. Plague of locusts tagged us in a post. Uh, says my Friday night hand check, hanging out watching vape stew, and he's got a a Vupu drag with resin, drop RDA, anarchist pink lemonade, and some pizza that looks absolutely delicious, and I'm very jealous. So I bet you he got a discount with uh, yeah, <laughs> code. Hungry Demo Twenty. Hungry, hungry <laughs> Demo Twenty. Plague of locusts. Thank you for the tag. We appreciate you. And uh, yeah, if anybody tags us on Instagram, uh, I'll be on the lookout for that. So I'll oh, give you a quick shout out. I like that one. The what? Stew, the stew pot? The stew I think pot. that was in there. Wasn't that in there? I don't think so. Yes, it was. That was like last weekend. Was it? I, I like swear, this. I swear. Short term memory loss side effect number one. Of what? Need I specify? Exactly. <laughs> there are a lot of things that could cause that. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, next the one in the uh, leave your comment in the group chat as to what you think would cause short term memory loss. Like going to <laughs> California. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Man, first thing they lose in California is their gender. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Go on that one. Yep, Joel's on his own. My wife just told me that's fucked up. <laughs> Maybe Joel's on his own. You're on your own, Joel. <laughs> on my Lanta. Man, I got to give a shout out, Instagram shout out to On My Lanta again. I know he's already tagged us and whatnot, but man, dude's a big follower, supporter across all platforms. Absolutely. I got You got to respect that, man. You know, this, we don't do this for ourselves you know or i don't i can speak for myself i don't you know i do this to get back to the community i'm in it, I'm in it for the money <laughs> <laughs> i love that people are just uh -huh. saying masturbation and weed causes short-term <laughs> <laughs> well i guess that i'm fucked then true, i remember what i did yesterday <laughs> 
<laughs> That's not true. He says. <laughs> we should call it the three stooges, the three stooges and a Joel. Oh. <laughs> it's up. I'm just joking. <laughs> hey man, pimping ain't easy. Pimping ain't easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when he went away. I was just playing, Joel. <laughs> Come back. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> threw his toys out of the pram. So, okay. So here, here's here's the question. Should we should we announce the winner here or should we maybe announce the winner on a vape stew post on Facebook? I think we should talk it over real quick before I, yeah. I think we should talk it over off air. We need to have a huddle. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna need to have a little coordinated conversation here. Say a huddle, a huddle, or a huddle. Or a cuddle. Yeah, we need a cuddle. I'm down for both. For cuddle huddle x1 for cuddle huddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cuddle 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 puddle just wait when we're all at the same expo at, at the same time it's going to be trouble like we've it's, already got three of trouble us or a boxing match one of the two yeah, i'm not sure what it's going to be yet but that's yet to be determined <laughs> there's going to be too much liquor for a box okay match. so it is 10 53 we got seven minutes left on this uh program or scheduled program huddle with me yeah. pads <laughs> <laughs> What were you going to say? Go ahead, Joe. Finish up. What what did somebody say? Huddle with knee pads. (laughs) No. I don't need knee pads. I stand tall. Touch beards. Time to touch beards. (laughs) (laughs) Don't cross the streams. The real question is, why doesn't Demo have the mod that's based off of a Ferrari? Because it's stupid. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't they're like this is mod it was the uh i know what it is it was the the, La- the lassimo um the what was it the wyvern or was it i don't I know thought it, it i thought it's the new sigeli no 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 no, oh, no there was a- there was one that was like the last the last the lassimo something or other that was uh was like inspired by the curves in the in the panels of the la ferrari and i looked at it and i was like yeah definitely not because the la ferrari is like a one and a half million dollar car and uh yeah no uh, cheap chinese mod uh, sorry <laughs> ouch <laughs> sorry <laughs> um, absolute negative zero. i'm sorry if any of you guys own that mod <laughs> but and, and if you enjoy it enjoy no, it not. but no, you're not sorry no, not really sorry. Though, but but for me as a as a almost former ferrari owner now um what's next a pinto <laughs> no, uh, it would be a real estate property in in the uh, northeast Minneapolis area, um, where he's going to park his new McLaren. That's probably the smartest thing I've ever heard you say, Demo. Hey, he's going to no, he's going to get a Lamborghini and park it outside Thesis's house. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, I man. Uh, really, the the Lamber- the Ferrari for land, dude. That's a genius thing. Remember, they can go make as many Ferraris as they want. They can't make more land. You know, they oh, over in yeah. Dubai. They're I pumping enjoy. sand out of the sea into the ocean to right. make more land. You know? I would enjoy making some more money so then when I'm like in my 40, 40, 45, 50, I can, I can buy like 10 Ferraris, you know? Like, <laughs> that's, oh, that's just the wear them like roller skates. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, at that point in time, Viagra is going to be so damn expensive, you won't be able to afford a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Jones, I just bought a Tesla. Congratulations. Guess what, guys? I don't own a vehicle. Hey, you know what? Vehicle. If you cut open the floor in your Tesla, you can pull out all kinds of 21700s. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. I wonder if there's an attachment for Tesla to vape. You know, you can vape off your Tesla battery. Oh, God. <laughs> don't start that. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds like one of those uh, videos you see on, like, Ryan Hall's channel. You ever see I vaped off oh, my absolutely. Tesla, yes. Yeah. 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 And then it like it it turns out that it's never like really what they say. <laughs> oh yeah, clickbait. It's all clickbait. Yeah. It's called clickbait. <laughs> I don't have a problem with clickbait, but the, like he gets. Out I of do. I, I have I, a problem with t- clickbait. Why? It's just good marketing. As long as as long as it you good, the clickbait. Um, you can do clickbait to an extent. You know, like greatest mod made by so and so or best interactive screen you know great cool but you know i vaped a ten thousand dollar vape juice and you get it and it's nothing you know what i mean or why i decided to quit vaping and then 24 hours later you got another video up. asshole i thought you said you quit yeah you know i i i liked um i got nothing against the man i just i i subscribed to him a long time ago when he had like just a few real thousand content, real content yeah he, he had a few thousand subscribers and I found him and I was like, oh, this is cool. I even sent him a message and said, man, I like what you're doing, you know, blah, 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 blah on Instagram. 
Um, and then all of a sudden, like he never takes the sunglasses off and there's no longer like any, like the content is just like, it just feels like it's forced out there constantly. And I mean, I, I feel bad. Like I, I want, I want to be like, dude, stop it. Truth. Make it better. It can but, happen. But it's it here. Boring. Tickle it here. Make it better. You can't. You can't give the guy a hard time though, because I mean, his shit is just going. It's just time out. I can give him what I want to give him. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop there, family show. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. But uh, uh, above eighteen years old, family show. So we got an after show tonight or not? Oh yeah. Are we gonna what? I feel are like are you gonna make the after show this week, or are you gonna stand us up again, Stan? Well, my wife is leaving tomorrow to go to a casino without me, so I have to give her a reason to remember me while she's there. Ew. Um, ew. ew. What? I got her an excuse. I got her a single. states. I got her a single fire and ice road. If she won't remember from from yesterday, she's not going to remember from tonight. (laughs) Well, dude, Joel, how long have you been married? I'm not married. Well, how long have you been with your wife? Your, your, your person Fritz and wife exclusively person. or like <laughs> is she listening <laughs> yeah she's right there <laughs> how long have you guys been in a, a... monogamous yes monogamous there we go <laughs> uh this is gonna get someone in trouble how many hours are in a day oh god <laughs> <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> Oh my god. Stan got quiet real quick. He's like, I ain't saying shit. <laughs> I know. No. Uh man, a long time. Uh my brother's been gone a year after he's passed. Probably like 12, 13 years, something like that. Okay, 13 years. I've been with my wife for 15 years. We've been married for 10. Okay. You know, and I, I keep this is hashtag keeping it real, Jay Hayes. You watching? <laughs> this you don't you don't get it every day, dude. That's just how it goes. Like, <laughs> yeah. They, that shit this shit rolls down slow. Come out, brother. You got twenty bucks in your pocket. Hashtag Please. after show. Where is this Please. going? <laughs> Please. I don't. I, I don't you care. Give me, you give me your scared. area code to your telephone number, and I'll have something lined up for you and just. Lickety split. I don't want no questions. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hashtag confirmed. Joel's a pimp. (laughs) No jacket. (laughs) No, the pimp gets other guys late. (laughs) (laughs) The player handles his business. I like uh, Jay Jerry's comment. Welcome to Clickbait Club. You're not going to believe the first rule. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. Red circle pair tits. Yeah, pretty much. Dog house for Joel. Anyway, I don't have a dog. I don't even got a dog house. Anyway, I was inside when I had one too, so yes. I'm good. It's time. It's the end of the show, and you know what happens when you reach the end? You find the plug. So, boom, Joel, hit it up. Well, bend over, give us a plug back. Oh my! <laughs> oh, oh, something man. else. Man. Why, Joel? You want to brush the ponytail? You're almost. You're almost up. You're almost at like thesis level right now. <laughs> Oh no, he's way too chill for that. Yeah, I know. That's why <laughs> don't I said give me that honor, please don't. Man, a plug. What do I got to say for a plug? Skip fish. Are you gonna present me or not? Or do I gotta beg for that too? You, you have permission. You have permission to present me. <laughs> <laughs> Muted. Yes. Drop the mute bomb. Absolutely. There you go. While he's muted, I should talk about the after show, perhaps. Well, unmute you, Joel. You, you have, have to, to unmute, unmute yourself. yourself. You have to unmute there yourself. You yeah, I know I have to unmute myself. I had gave you, myself permission first. Are you sure, Joel? Are you give sure? Give myself permission to unmute myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Go ahead, man. So, go ahead. The only plug I got, guys, is going to be for Skip Fish. This is BBM, and it is a bourbon brown sugar milkshake. I promise you I will be reordering this. If I know the name doesn't, the profile doesn't sound appealing at all, but it is absolutely wonderful. I love the stuff. And I also have to plug Helping Family on Facebook. 
please find that group as well as the Stooges or whatever we decide to name that afterwards. But Helping Family is a group in which runs waffles on Facebook periodically to help one of industry's own who may have fell upon hard times, whether it be medical, financial, or just whatever it may be. You know, we answer that call when needed, as needed. So I definitely have to give them the utmost of respect and love because that's what this industry community is about, is taking care of one another. And all the guys on the panel for putting up with my BS. Thank y'all again. Be sure to go sub to every single one of those guys if you haven't already. I really don't care if you go sub to me. If you sub to me, cool. If not, that's cool, too, because I'm going to talk a lot of shit, and you may not like what I have to say. Is that, I've is kept that, it real. Have you? Is that how you? Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. You better knock that off. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get a copy. Yeah, let me knock that off. Quit that. Quit that. Quit that. Redacted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. And shout out to DHL. Bye. Oh, <laughs> What's up, guys? All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um. Check out, you know, I've got some new content coming. I've got some reviews coming coming up soon We've here. We've heard it. We've heard yeah. it. We've yet to I see actually it. just I actually just shot <laughs> you motherfucker. I just, I just I just shot a review before this. We got line. this far, Demo. We got this far. Yeah, I know. Can't have nice things. Um anyway, I just shot a review prior to this stream. So enjoy that when that comes out. We'll $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $
I'll be starting some more content for exclusively for my patrons very soon. Um, what else did I have to pimp? I had to pimp something else. Stickers. Uh, there was something else. Oh, I'm doing vape mats as well. I'm doing little mini vape mats for my cloud crew members uh, that I'll be doing in my giveaways. I do have to say that we just got over 500 uh, members of my Daily Vape TV cloud crew group, so I will be doing a giveaway very shortly on that. Uh, and for every 100 members we get, up to 1,000, I'll be doing a giveaway at every 100 mark. So that's pretty cool. Uh, stickers. St oh, I got buttons too. I forgot to mention that. I got buttons. Pretty sweet buttons. Boy, Boy Fresh Build Friday Daily Vape TV buttons. Buttons! These, these oh. will be um, given out at National Vape Expo in Foxwoods uh, in Connecticut next uh, two weeks. Two weeks from today tomorrow um those will be given out there as well as i'm gonna hold on to a couple for very special people but i will be making more so uh, i might be doing some sort of giveaway kind of throw one in with giveaways and stuff like that what else did i had to have to pimp i swear there was something else blaz blaz oh i mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey demo's doing that for you tonight my juice line yeah thanks demo for that by the way free promo and as always <laughs> Vape on. Oh, I was, extra, on. I was extra rootin' tootin' tonight by, uh, today I gotta watch it. for that video. Yeah, Blaz, you were. Blaz E-Liquid, uh, blazliquids.com for anyone that wants some really good blue raspberry juice. Uh, I, I, I know there was something else. <laughs> Hashtag long-winded. <laughs> All right, says. I'll shut up. <laughs> no, I'll finish. I just think it's hilarious. <laughs> no, that's it. I, I forgot what I, whatever else I was supposed to pimp. So, mm -hmm. all right, after well, show maybe. If you remember, feel free to jump in, and I will meet you. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Stan, you now have permission to give your plugs. Are you sure? Yes. Are you positive? Proceed. All right, guys. So <laughs> check it out, lucidrda.com. Um, this beer's good. Um, lucidrda.com. Get yourself a lucid RDA, dude. I made a deal today for something pretty rad. Okay, you guys need to pay attention. I'm not gonna say what it is, but I'm gonna say it's very limited, and it will only be available. Well. Yeah, it'll only be available on lucidrda.com, so keep your eyes peeled. Give it a couple weeks, but very limited. Um, <clears throat> I'm talking like 40 units limited. All right. 39. So maybe. Uh, also, go check out Demo's channel because he's got a thousand subscriber giveaway he's going to do. And uh, me and Mr. Just Right One oh, God, yeah, yeah. sent him uh, a couple of lucids and a dreamer. And, uh, I, dude, I, I stuck true to that, man. I threw an extra lucid in there and, and we, we got him hooked yeah. up. Absolutely. All right. It's going to be sweet. I'll give the details in the after show. If you guys are interested, please check out the after show, but I'll you guys I'll thank Mr. Just right one, because he hooked it up. I wouldn't have been able to give that much to Demo. Um, if he hadn't thrown in on that, um, uh, he's, yeah, he's pimping that red jacket. He's, you, you guys can't see him, but he's doing a sexy dance right now. And, uh, Go check out Tenacious TX Vapes page. Go check out the Vape Stew group, soon to be renamed. It's going to be awesome. If you guys are in the Vape Stew group, go check it out right now. Follow it. Jump in there. We'll approve you. <laughs> and you guys can see on that group that what the new name is going to be, who the winners of the, uh, of the actual contest is going to be. I think that I'm going to give a second place winner depending on who wins because if the guy who created the stooges thing doesn't win um i'm gonna go ahead and give him a prize for second place because i think that we're i'm gonna use stooges for the rest of my life as long as this group group like exists i'm gonna say you guys are stooges if you're cool with that uh because i think it's awesome and yeah i got new content coming too i got new reviews coming up uh, i'm jumping back on it hard uh, you guys can see this little mark on my face. I've had like an eye infection and this whole side of my face was swollen. My eye was almost shut and black. That's why I haven't been recording videos. So, and why I haven't done any live stuff until it all kind of went down. But 
anyway, gross stuff aside, you guys stay safe. After show, after show, after show. After show, after show, after show. Where's the after show happening? Strip club tales. Nick, All right, wanna... Joel, Joel has strip club tales for you on the after show, okay? So make sure you go to that and check those out. Um, not ponytails, uh, but strip club tales. Go ahead, Demo. Okay, anyway, uh, Nick, do you want to do the after show this time? All right, let me ask you guys this. When was the last video you released? Three days ago. Okay, Joel. Uh, Four days ago, maybe. Yesterday. Okay, Stan. What? When was the last video you... you oh, no, you're not even going to make it for the after show. I might, yeah, I might be there. I might All right, be there. so I released Dude, a video today. On the other side. I released a video today, and I really want it to like stay as my first video. I, no, it's no offense, that I, I really don't, you know, <laughs> I don't want to like. Vapen Fagan is here. Fagan. We all know that Demo needs content. You know what, Vapen Fagan? Hey Fagan, man, Fagan, Fagan, loves to be Fagan? Fagan, Fagan Industries. Look, I learned something from you. <laughs> <laughs> Fagan, you need to email. Uh, demo vapes at gmail.com or stan at tenacious tx vapes.com, and uh, we're gonna send you a link so that you can come and do the naked after show with us. If you <laughs> Nick, you need to mute your microphone. <laughs> oh, sorry, did I just wince into the mic? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fagan. so let's just say at like, ooh, I don't know. 11 16 no 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 we'll say 11 30 <laughs> uh, after show will be at 11 30 on demo vapes channel on youtube please come back check it out because man oh, with the conversations we've had tonight it's just going to be crazy it's going to be Hold on one second i'm going to put the facebook group in the uh chat because i'm being asked about it oh i meant to do that for mine too mine go ahead link to anything it links to hey, demo, if the check clears, man, if the PayPal money lands in my account, I'll be at the after show. All right, man. As we agree. Right, Don't right, tell the other right. guys. Yeah, no, no, no problem. Oh, wait, we're live. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. I thought mine this was done. How come mine doesn't go anywhere? <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, none of them go anywhere. That's weird. <clears throat> Whatever. Wait, what's happening? Ah, group. No, stop. <laughs> I'm I'm bad bad said he's stripping down and getting ready. Well, guess what? I'm getting a head start. <laughs> <laughs> need some baby oil, Fagan. All right, guys. After show strip off between Mark Fagan and Mr. Just Right One. Uh, Mark <laughs> Fagan better learn to rap because I feel like Mr. Just Right One has an edge. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow. If I ain't got the edge, I have the girl. <laughs> oh God! All right, end the show. Hey, Wait, I can't end the show. I'm trying to find the link. <laughs> I'm trying to find. Oh, there it is. There's a link. Okay, ready? Hold on. Here it comes. Here it comes, guys. I'm hurrying. That's what she said. Oh, hey. that's what she's going to say. Oh, oh, God. All right. Ah. Game over. There's the Facebook group, guys. You guys have a fantastic evening. You guys stay safe. And remember, show me. Babe on, friends. <laughs> <laughs>